right, today we're gonna talk about Jiyun's newest gimbal, the Cine Peer Weibull 3E, uh, which they sent me to review and test. And so, um, yeah, today we're gonna unbox it, set it up, do some field tests, and we'll see if it's worth buying. It comes in a styrofoam style carrying case which is I think sturdy enough to travel with and inside there is a screw on tripod base. A base plate. Some cables for charging and connecting your camera. An allen key, a quarter twenty screw for the base plate, manual and some paperwork, and the Cinepeer Weevil 3E. This is the standard package which is around $250 right now. So let's take a look at the gimbal itself. It is made out of plastic and metal, which is in gray and black color. At the bottom, there is three mounting points which you can attach the tripod base. It has a rubber grip in front and at the back of the handle. A scroll wheel. A trigger style button, a USB C port for charging, an OLED display, a joystick to control the gimbal, a record button to wirelessly control your camera, and a mode button. It has three powerful motors that can handle up to 6.6 .6 pounds or 3 kilograms of camera weight. A locking mechanism on each motors to secure the arms when the gimbal is not in use. But this is where I think this gimbal shines. Changing from horizontal to vertical shooting is so easy by just reorienting the base plate on its side and you are ready to shoot vertical videos. This is the first time I saw this kind of design in a gimbal so uh, usually you have several steps to do to make vertical video but this one you just need to remove the base plate and put it on its side and you're good to go. Now let's put my Sony a7 IV with the Sigma 28-70 to and this combo weighs around 3 pounds or 1.5 kilograms which is well within the capacity of this gimbal. They also sent me this master move accessory which you can use as a sling mode for the Cinepeer Weevil 3E or as a side handle like this. It also has a wrist rest for extra comfort. So now let's try to go outside and test this gimbal. I will share to you the settings that I will use, the modes, the lens and the type of shot that I will do. For this first shot, I'll be using the pan follow mode in the gimbal and then I'll be using 35mm focal length Stretching. and this shot will be a long continuous shot to test the capabilities of this gimbal and I'm also using the master move so I can do sling Whoa. mode and here is the final result In this next shot, I'll be using pan follow mode again with the master move so I can do sling mode, blow to the ground and then I'll be tracking the subject while focusing on the subject's feet. 
In this next shot, I'll be doing a tracking shot again, but this time I'll be focusing on the subject's face. So as you can see, I'm moving with the subject while the camera is facing backwards, so I can focus on running and while framing the subject. In this shot, I'll be doing a slow push in while the camera is in sling mode and also the subject is running perpendicular to the camera. In this shot, I'll be doing a jib shot while tracking the subject from top to bottom. I'll be using the pan follow mode and a 35mm focal length for this one. So in this shot, I'll be using the vortex mode of the gimbal. So I'll be pushing in while the subject is moving towards the camera, while the camera is rotating to the right. So in this shot, I'll be doing a fake drone shot. So I'll be setting the gimbal into POV mode with the 28mm focal length while I'm tracking the subject from behind. The next one is I'll be tracking the subject's feet again from behind this time showing him running before slowing down. And then for this one I'll be doing slow push in while the gimbal is in lock mode and my focal length here is 50mm. And this one is an orbit shot which the gimbal is in pan follow mode again and the focal length is 70mm. And for this one I'll be doing a foreground reveal for the subject. So I'll be using a pan follow mode again for this one and I'm in 35mm focal length. In this next scene, I'll be using the pan follow mode again while doing a jib shot as the subject moves towards the camera. Here is the final shot for this whole sequence. I'll be doing a stationary panning shot while the subject is moving towards the fence. And here again is the final result. So, is this worth buying? Well, I think yes. If you are in the market for an affordable, lightweight, and simple gimbal, I think this is for you because for its capacity that it can handle, you'll get your money's worth. And thanks again, Jiyun, for sending me this gimbal and this accessory. And for you guys, I will link everything down below so you can check them out. And... Um, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you do, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more of this kind of videos. And I will see you again next time. Peace.